uh, who came before me do stuff like this uh, in different cities all across the country and across the world. Um, you know, I would have loved to have something like this happen uh, in my neighborhood growing up. So, uh, you know, I just thought it would be big for, for the kids to come out and uh, put something together like this. And again, shout out to JD Sports for partnering with me on this. Uh, shout out for the team with the Thunder, uh, everybody over there that helped out. And then obviously the city of Spencer. Um, you know, shout out to everybody who helped make this happen. What did you think when you saw the court for the first time? I actually saw like a picture of it like half finished yesterday, but before that I hadn't seen anything. I was just kind of going in blind. So, uh, you know, I'm pretty, pretty happy with how it turned out. It turned out pretty cool. Kids are already out here getting shots up. Just what's it like seeing this already being put to good use right now? Uh, you know, it's great. That's what it's for. You know, it's, uh, it got built for the kids to come out here, use it, have fun. Uh, you know, really anybody who wants, wants access to a place to play basketball, uh, you know, that's, that's what it's for. So it's great to see that it's already uh, being used in good health and uh, hopefully it is for a long time. But there was a, a moment at All-Star where you were, you were trying to get Jalen to answer some trivia questions. One of the answers was Russell Westbrook and you said he's a legend in our city. A lot of Thunder fans have really resonated with them for you to call it our city. You haven't been here that long, but just playing here and doing stuff like that, does it give you a greater sense of connection? Uh, yeah, I mean, I definitely feel like uh, saying our city is appropriate because, uh, you know, I feel like I'm a part of this city just as much as anybody else who lived here, grew up here. Uh, you know, I, uh, you know, take pride in, in living here and, uh, you know, living here the right way, uh, doing things for the community, helping people out. Uh, so, you know, I definitely feel like it's, it's our city in a way. Anybody else? Uh, you probably heard the mayor just talk about it like this for the next generation. What yeah. did that mean to you to hear him say that? Uh, it's huge. Um, you know, it obviously means something to me to come out and do something like this, but when you see the reaction that uh, everybody else has, uh, you know, because they're like, they're not expecting this to happen, you know. Uh, you know, so it's it's a huge blessing for them, and for them to kind of express that to me is is uh, you know it's it's very great, and you know I'm honored to to have that. What do you think is going through your your parents' mind watching you do stuff like this? Um, honestly, they were probably surprised that uh, I made it through high school. <laughs> so so this is like a whole nother level uh, for them. Uh, you know, they're, uh, they're, I'm sure they're proud of me and. Uh, you know, they're happy to see something like this happen and, uh, um, you know, they help me out with stuff like this too, so some of the credit goes to them as well. Chet, you mentioned that you did I went to the park and played every day when I was in middle school and then when I got to high school I started taking the train up to like Lifetime and going play with older dudes, but, uh, you know, the courts weren't this great condition. Um, so to have something that, that would be this nice would be amazing. Uh, so hopefully I can go back home and, and redo those courts or make new ones, uh, something. Uh, just to give better opportunity uh, for the kids and uh, you know, help push the game forward uh, by giving access to it. Um, you know, I, I'm lucky I had access to it. Not everybody has that. So uh, you know, I kind of want to make sure everybody, everybody gets a chance to, to have a shot at basketball. Just because, uh, you know, I feel like I'm part of the community, uh, not only because uh, a lot of people here and other places, uh, you know, follow us and the team and look up to us, so it's kind of uh, on us to lead the right way, um, live the right way, and then obviously give back, uh, you know, because without, without Oklahoma City, you know, we wouldn't be able to earn any money playing basketball, you know what I'm saying? Like. The community is the reason that the team is able to be here. Uh, so I feel like it's kind of on us to, to give back at the same time. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a two-way street. You know, I think we're all just one big community. Who was your hero growing up? Probably my parents. Yeah. What is your favorite thing for playing with OKC? Uh, kind of reciprocating the love that the the fans show us. Uh, you know, they come support every night. They bring it every night, so uh, it kind of makes us bring the juice. Uh, you know, we can't we can't go out there slacking because uh, you know the fans don't. So you know, we gotta we gotta yeah. Yeah, Loud City brings yeah, it. Yeah. What is one goal for yourself? I don't know. I got a bunch, but uh, you know, just. Be the best me I can be, uh, be better at the end of the day than I was when I woke up. Uh, you know, give back to those who, uh, you know, helped me out along the way. 
uh, and uh, you know, try and create opportunity for those that might not have it. What is one thing that helped you through your injury last year? Uh, the community supported me. Uh, you know, even even when I got hurt, they didn't give up on me, and uh, you know, they continued to believe in me, um, and uh, you know, it made me rehab, uh, you know, even harder. What is your hype song you play before a game? I mean, it's rap. I listen to rap, like up, upbeat music. Um, but it's kind of weird. In our locker room, there's like a playlist that plays every game, and it's like it's like sad Drake songs. It's kind of weird. I don't know why that is what it is, but uh, yeah. You got your headphones on. No, I'm just not really listening to it. You know. Yeah. That's great. Um, what's your go-to post-game meal? Man, my favorite one that the chefs put out for our little post-game buffet has got to be what we had last night. That the orange chicken, fried rice, Mongolian beef. That that bleep is fire. That, yeah. Is there a coach or athlete that has inspired you through this game? Uh, I mean, there's been a lot. Uh, Kobe, Jordan, obviously. Um, but then, like, I used to watch like Ali, Mike Tyson. Uh, you know, a lot of what I watched Tyson do uh, outside of the ring was like what not to do. Uh, I'm a big fan of Tyson though, uh, shout out him. Um, uh, not saying everything he did was right, but uh, and then I also watched like Usain Bolt, um, Ray Lewis, uh, Terrell Suggs, big, uh, big Ravens guy over here. Um, yeah, just like all the like competitor type athletes, yeah. How would your teammates describe it? Goofy, like, yeah, for good, for better or for worse, just goofy. Do you think I can beat you in a game of horse? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, he answered it well. Yeah, yo, yo, thank you. Mayor Calvin, what are we doing here today? What is this event all about? This event is about the opening of the Chet Holmgren JD Sports basketball court here in the city of Spencer. Uh, Chet and his foundation came in and decided that they were going to invest in our community and help show the greatness of the city of Spencer and we are tremendously happy to let this be the day that we open up the court. This is a beautiful court in, in Spencer. What does something like this mean to the community in the city of Spencer? We're in the development part of redeveloping and redefining ourselves. And to have Chet come in and to help us show the our commitment to family, to being a positive growth, is just a tremendous uh, deal for us. And so right now we're, we're actually just trying to just show that, hey, look, we're about family, we're about growth, we're about positivity. And Chet, I think, is implementing all of that. As someone who is so invested in this city, what's it like to see this court with your own eyes and see that it's already being put to good use right now? Uh, I, I'm going to use a, probably a terrible analogy. I feel like a mother that just gave birth to a baby. You're so proud and you, you knew the hard work that it took to carry the baby, to get it out, but I, I, I'm just tremendously blessed to, to be here today and to see this, see this come to fruition.